Hey guys, Donnie Wrightside here, Bookmakers Review, week number two in the NFL. How about some game analysis for three games set to kick off this Sunday at 1 o'clock? Let's take a look. 263-264. That's going to be the Miami Dolphins and the Baltimore Ravens. Two attack of Iloa versus Lamar Jackson. This total opened up at 45.5, has dropped to 43.5 currently. And also at the side, a minus 4.5 price here for the Ravens, now sitting at a minus 3.5 price. So down one point here. The Miami Dolphins, easy win opening day at home against the New England Patriots. The Baltimore Ravens won on the road in a hand the New York Jets. So now the home opener for the Baltimore Ravens at home. First game on the road for the season for the Miami Dolphins. This game for me is going to come down to the Miami Dolphins offense versus the Baltimore Ravens defense. If they can keep that pass rush away from Tua Tagovailoa, I do think that they can attack that secondary. If we take a look at Wilson, Tyreek Hill, and also Jalen Waddle with wide receiver, that's a pretty formidable opponent there on the outsides. If we do have McDaniel calling the plays, and look, look pretty sharp week one, even though they didn't need and too many points, only dropped 20 there on the New England Patriots. I do think they'll have much more success here against the Baltimore Ravens. Let's take a look here, 265-266. Next game on deck here, the New York Jets going on the road to take on the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns got a Cade York 58-yard field goal to win it down in Carolina, and the New York Jets got blasted at home by the Baltimore Ravens. This line currently sits as a total at a 40.5, even though it opened up at 42.5. Now sitting here on the line itself, a 4.5 point fan favorite for Cleveland, now sitting close to a touchdown at a minus six and a half. The ground game, it should be ground and pound for Cleveland, which you saw last week. A couple touchdowns here combined by the running backs, and certainly a nice rushing performance between Nick Chubb and also Kareem Hunt. Jacoby Brissett's going to be a game manager here, but the way that the Cleveland Browns will win this game is by their front four. Jadavion Clowney and Miles Garrett really getting after Joe Flacco, and if the Jets think they can get away with Flacco throwing 59 times, you're going to get a lot of sacks and interceptions coming your way from the Cleveland Browns. Game number three, 275, 276, another one o'clock start on Sunday. New England with Mac Jones on the road to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers and Mitchell Trubisky. How about this? The New England Patriots favored by one and a half and a low total in this one down from the 43 opener to around 40 across many outlets. Now this game's going to come down to defense, defense, and more defense and who you trust on offense. The New England Patriots haven't given you very much to trust throughout OTA's training camp and certainly through the first game of the season. But last week, if we take a look at and say, well, the Pittsburgh Steelers did win and won on the road against Cincinnati. You'll take that each every time, but how did they get there? They won the turnover battle 5 nothing and barely squeaked that game out. T.J. Watt injured. We don't know if Najee Harris is going to be at the starting gate for this game versus New England Patriots. The one question mark also for the Patriots, back spasms here by Mac Jones. We'll see if he'll be the starter this weekend in Pittsburgh, but I have to say, I do agree with the favorite being the New England Patriots, even though how poorly the Patriots played opening day. You also sort of saw the Pittsburgh Steelers maybe not as good as they really are, even though they won opening weekend here against the Cincinnati Bengals. Week two, one of the most dangerous weeks in the NFL to wager. Week three, it opens up pretty good for us here, and I can't wait for that. But make sure you stay with BMR throughout football season. I'm Donnie Wrightside for Bookmakers Review.